All right, no tease, no joke. This is how I outline scripts. I think it's simple. I think it's useful. Might be a good starting place for you. So let's get to it. All right, first off, Different brains work differently, so different forms of outline work for different people. There is no right or wrong way to make an outline. There is only, is it helping you get the work done? You have to figure out how your brain works, not how it ought to work or how someone else says it works or how anybody else's brain works. What works for you? And the only way that I know for you to figure that out is for you to try different forms of outline and pay attention to how it goes. To help with that, I have made a big list of questions that you can ask yourself to see if an outline system is helping you. I'm gonna run through it now, but I also put it in the description so you don't have to take notes, okay? Here we go. Is it helping you turn everything into scenes? Is it showing you what the action is and who's taking it? Is it making each idea more specific and concrete? Does it allow physical space for all your thoughts? Does it give you ways to distinguish between different types of content? Does it help you organize and prioritize? Does it help you explore and experiment? Does it allow you to step back and look at the story or structure? Is it easy to make changes, rethink, reorganize? Is it showing you what's ready to write and what's not? Is it safe? Can you lose it? Can you back it up? Is it easy for you to operate? Can you afford it? Are you thinking more about content than process or technology? Do you find yourself looking forward to using it? All right, you've got that, good. Now, I am gonna run through my outline format. That is just what I've worked out for myself over the years through trial and error. Use it if it helps you. If it doesn't, check the questions, try and figure out what it is that would work for you and do that. Okay, so this is a sample outline. It's just a bunch of made up scenes to show you how the format works. I'm gonna go through each element one by one, but first I want to show you the big picture. It's got these different colors and fonts so I can just look at it and get a sense of what I've got and what I need to get. It really just breaks down to six basic elements. I'm using Apple Pages here, but you can set up this format in any type of word processing, Word, Google Docs, whatever. I'm gonna go through these six elements one by one now so you can see what each one does. We start with the scene line, but you could also call it the main action or the name of the scene. Keep these short. Ideally, it just fits on one line. I format it larger and bold with space around it so it feels more weighty and structural than everything else on the page. You really want to see these. Ideally, it should be very specific and name who's doing the main action and what that action is. But sometimes it just defines the physical action, like zip and buzz drive in the desert. The point is to get yourself to think of a scene as an action to remember that with all the many things that are going to happen in every scene, there's still usually some central reason this scene exists. Next up, the detail line. You're going to be seeing a lot of this one, so make it something you like to look at. Think of it as your body text. This is for anything you want to go in the scene. Describe bits of action, write hunks of dialogue. It can be just a couple of notes or a full beat by beat description. This is where you brainstorm. This is a workspace. Now, really, if all you had was scene lines and details, you could outline a whole script. That's what you need. That's the bottom line, the bare essentials. But I kind of like to take a couple of types of details and set them apart. The first one is the questions line. There's a lot of stuff you know you don't know yet when you're working on an outline. This type of line is a way of reminding yourself, I gotta figure this thing out. I make them a bright color so I can see there's something I need to resolve. So then, one way you know when you're ready to write is when you don't have any of this color left in your outline. 
But in real life, some things just stay as questions that you have to answer when you write the scenes. And sometimes you can use this type of line to lay out alternatives, different versions of the same idea, and you leave them in the color so you can say, I haven't really decided this yet. The other type of detail I like to set aside is notes. Sometimes you have something to say about the scene that you want to name or remember, but it doesn't go in the scene. You can use this kind of line for theories and ideas and summaries, all sorts of character notes, or even keeping track of stuff like what story day it is. I want to make sure that I know these bits are not going in the script, so I separate these by color and center them. Another kind of specialized line is the possible scene line. I have this because sometimes you're brainstorming ideas for scenes and you're not sure if you're going to use them. If you type it in as a regular scene, it kind of confuses your sense of what you've got and where you are in the story. So I use this to throw down any idea that might work so I don't lose it. But the light blue color says, still got to figure out if this works. And the last element is the section line. You don't use this much, but now and then you do want to break the script into parts. It could be traditional act breaks, or sometimes it's to break out a special sequence or a set of events like flashback sequence, growing up, or the heist. Okay, so that's your toolkit. Just six kinds of line. I think they cover pretty much everything you'd need to outline almost any kind of script but if you can think of something that you need that isn't in there, format another line, add it in there. You know you, make it work. But we're not done. I'm gonna show you two really cool ways you can use an outline. Secret trick number one, the scene list. First, you make a copy of the outline. Do not use your original outline, make a copy. Then delete everything except the scene line. Now you've got just the basic skeleton of the story, the spine, the track, which is nice to have, but the secret superpower here is once you start writing, make a version that gets the whole list down to one page. Doesn't matter how small the type is, the point is to turn it into a checklist. You print it out, put it by your keyboard or on the wall, and then as you write the draft, cross each scene off. It is really helpful to have this on the long journey through a script. Secret trick number two is the character outline. I described this briefly in my video, Building Character Arcs, but I want to show it to you here. First of all, make a copy of the outline for each character. Do not do this with your actual outline. Then you cut out every scene the character's not in. I'm going to use this character Zip in this example. So I cut out all the other scenes and now it's just this character's story. You can look at everything from their point of view and do all the work of thinking through the details and questions and notes. If you like what you come up with, paste those details into your main outline. Okay, one last topic before we go and that is software because there is a lot of cool software out there. There's ways to organize your thoughts and track your project and roller coaster it and mind meld it, and it is great. But you do not need special software to write an outline or a script. Just make sure it's helping you. Use the list of questions. If you can afford the software and it's helping you, Dive in, head first, go with God, great. The only thing I will say is I strongly urge you not to use any software that tells you how to write the story. There's some out there that give you character types or plot points or genre requirements. And uh, honestly, you want to use a system or a formula from a book or a class, great, do that, but don't have it baked into the software. There's just no way that can be good for anybody. The main thing to remember is that an outline is just a tool. It's just a place for you to do the work in. No one is looking at it. It doesn't matter how you do it, as long as you're gathering materials and organizing them and refining them, building a list of scenes into a story. That's all that matters. Use the outline as a place to work, to build a list of scenes, 
into a story. All right, that is enough for now. Go write something. Ask me questions. Talk to me in the comments. Tell me what you want to hear about. Give this video a like, subscribe to the channel, and if you want to work with me, go to writingforscreens.com. That's it. Here endeth the lesson. Until next time. And if you want to work with me, ah, ba, ba. that's wrong. I think it's useful. I think it's simple. I wish I had gotten that right through trial and error. Are we on? Yes. Huh. Idiot. Uh, 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 yeah. Uh, 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 uh. Ah, ah, ah. That's what you need. The bare bottom. Bare bottom. Oops. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right.